Hey, it's a good time to uh, create a connection with the database using type RM. So I'm going to make things quick. Uh, this is not about type uh, RM. So first thing I will create a folder called entities and inside of it an index to TS. Here, we, here I will create our connection and before that we need to install a couple of things. So uh, npm install type rm and now add a space then uh, reflect metadata and now you need to install your driver so if you are using mysql put here mysql or postgres uh, i think it's pg or oracle so it doesn't matter i will use sqlite but uh, it will be the same in any uh, relational database and i will use .env to show something nice so these are the dependencies and now for the div dependencies mainly the types so npm store at types type rm at types reflect metadata at types uh, dot env I think that's it this might take a while uh, so Okay, type or M. Yeah, yeah. I think I think type or M does not have uh, only four types to TNV. Yes, yes. I just tested that. I'm not sure why I did this. Um, okay. So inside our index the JavaScript, which uh, will which I will work uh, here to create a connection. I will import these things, so from Kua, import star as Kua, we did this here. Uh, these are the types from Kua, and now the create connection function and the connection interface from type RM, and the config function from .env, and also I will import the colors. And this config function will get, if you execute it, will get everything from uh, your root, folder of your application and it will check for the .env file if that exists it, it will take everything from here and put it inside your process uh, object so uh, I will show an example for this but this is basically how you put things here and this file sh you should not commit this to your uh, repository so this is only on your machine and to prevent get from monitoring this uh, file you put you create a dot get ignore file in your root application and if you scroll i think I'm not sure where but you will find the dot env file here so this is telling get to ignore this file and just keep it in your machine and and inside the readme for any repository uh, tell the other developers where to create this dot env file okay so to get after you invoke the config function to get these you will uh, you can i think uh, it's not the only way but you can get them like this so db host db user db pass it's the same thing the same values here so this is the key this is the value after the equal uh, I'm destructuring them from the process.env now let's console load them to just to check okay and let's just import uh, from entities this will by default go to index, so I don't need to type it. So npm run dev uh, source app.ts. Uh, Oops, this did not talk, take that. App.ts. Uh, uh, so you should now see the object, I hope. Yes, so as you can see, now this is the db host, local host, it's these things here. So here we, you are, again here you, are, uh, you will put your credentials, which should be secure. Uh, I think the only limitation, if someone took your uh, machine, uh, they can find this. That's the only guess. Or someone looked at you when you are working. Um, 
yeah anyway so now we can create and export and create a variable called connect with db this will be equal to a synchronous function and this will accept the app instance that's why I imported core so this is the same type as, as this one and since, since this is an asynchronous function it will return a promise of type void uh, now const connection will be equal to await create connection this is the function we imported from type RM. Um here you will put the type it's any database you are using so if you are using mysql put it here host Come on. Uh, host will be db underscore host and like this but for me i will use sqlite and db our database will be equal to core.db like this so this will create a file called core.db in our root await now i will call connection connection to synchronize so this will uh, put every entity we have everything we created in type rm will put them inside the database so you need to call this or any or uh, nothing will happen and if you pass it through which I w which I think in development you might use will drop everything from the database and rebuild the whole thing again now then if this is correctly uh, executed without errors I will just log uh, synchronized with DB and I would put I would use a green then then bold and in case of failure I will catch that like this so console error failed uh, to sync with db and at the end if you remember in the previous video I showed you how the context is the same and this is the context uh, sorry and the app itself has a context which uh, it's the same one as this one when you uh, when it's get passed to the middleware so app dot context here so you can put anything like this so we'll put our db connection like this so let me come here and this is why I passed the app here so app.contacts to db equal connection and that's it so, so let's import this function from entities like this and everything inside of here I will just put it inside a function called uh, net or start app like this the sync and let me remove these two I don't need them uh, the app will um, I mean the whole structure will change but this is for now so create call this and just await it so everything uh, after it will be executed when this promise resolves so everything should be fine I hope we should just see it synchronized with DB uh, nothing happened because I did not call this function Okay, so synchronized with DB, uh, it's this line here. So this is this means everything is fine, and this is the database. It's here. So I hope what I said about the .env is uh, clear, because I, I see a lot of people put the credentials directly here and they commit them to the repo. I mean, if that repo were uh, a public repo, your credentials would be uh, available to everyone. And um, if you Google this stuff about uh, uh, what happened when you expose your credentials on GitHub, I think people sometimes uh, like get uh, their, their credentials will be stolen and they will be charged with a lot of money because people will use their credentials for stuff and uh, it's it's bad. Uh, so yeah, especially if you are using AWS credentials stuff like that. It's it's yeah. So and last thing, this is uh, of type connection. That's why I imported this. Um, yeah, I think that's it.